I'm going to solder this coil antenna to my LoRa module. To solder this coil antenna, I have to remove this oxidation layer. To remove the oxidation layer, I'm using an abrasive sponge, like this. I've added some flux, going to add some solder, I have removed the wire antenna, I'm now going to solder the coil antenna. This is the final result. This is the LoRa module with the coil antenna. This is my not so scientific test setup. The single LoRa gateway is five meters that direction. The single LoRa gateway uses a simple wire antenna. These are the measurements. My single channel LoRa gateway receives this data and the receive signal strength indicator is minus 70. I have created several tests to get the receive signal strength indicator when changing the call antenna orientation. This is the single channel LoRa gateway where the antenna always points up. This is the LoRa node. The distance between the gateway antenna and the LoRa node antenna is approximately 5 meters. In all test cases, the distance remains the same and there's always direct line of sight. This is test A where the LoRa node call antenna is perpendicular to the gateway. The received signal strength indicator is minus 56. This is test B, where the LoRa node with call antenna is in extension to the gateway. The solder point is near the gateway. The receive signal strength indicator is minus 56. This is test C. The call antenna has an angle of 45 degree with respect to the gateway. This is an angle of 45 degrees. The receive signal strength indicator is minus 62. This is test D, where the LoRa node with call antenna is in extension to the gateway, whereby the solder point here is away from the gateway. The receive signal strength is minus 69. This is test E, the LoRa node is in a vertical direction. The receive signal strength indicator is minus 108. This is test F, the last test, where the LoRa node is using a wire antenna. The wire antenna has a length of 86 mm for a frequency of 868 MHz. The receive signal strength is minus 50. My conclusion is using a wire antenna is better than a coil antenna. If you want to use a coil antenna, solder the coil antenna in horizontal direction instead of a vertical direction. And the coil antenna orientation should be perpendicular to the gateway antenna, which has a better result. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. 
I'll do my best to answer them.